Uh, I was disappointed that we didn't get the rebound first. Um, and then, um, you know, we got, we got lucky. We, uh, he he kept taking a shot, but he dribbled out. I guess he thought uh, they were ahead. Um, reminded me of a play. I'm a basketball junkie, so I don't know. Derek Harper dribbled, dribbled the, uh, the game out, clock out with Dallas years ago. Uh, sometimes this stuff happens. It's just, uh, you know, we got lucky. Next row back. Um, Melissa Rowland, Barry and News Group. Uh, Steve, can you describe uh, what was going through your mind when uh, Clay Thompson suffered that injury in the first quarter and just sort of the relief that followed that when he was able to return to the Yeah, game? I mean, it was, uh, it was a scary play. It looked pretty bad. And uh, he's, I think he was out the rest of the quarter. Um, and so I, I didn't know if he was going to be able to come back or not. Um, but he was available, and he turned into Clay right away when he took a 35-footer on his first possession back out on the floor, so we knew he was okay. Tim, on the right side, standing. Tim Reynolds. Tim Reynolds with the AP. The, um, when, when, what, the whole sequence on the block charge and them going to the review, it's obviously a bang-bang play, and usually with replay you hope they get it right. What was your level of confidence when you first saw the replay that it was going to get overturned? Uh, I had no idea because I, I couldn't really, you know, I looked up at the scoreboard and I, I wasn't looking at the right time. I was gathering the team around to, to uh, talk strategy. Uh, so we needed to talk to the guys. We gathered them together, and then they overturned the call. So uh, we, got, uh, we got a break. Third row on your right. Hey, Steve. Bill Barber, Santa Rosa, Press Democrat. Um, what was your thinking with JaVale's minutes more than we'd seen in a while, and what did you think of the result? Uh, JaVale was great. We just needed a burst. We needed some energy. Um, and uh, his, his minutes were important. He helped us get off to that good start in the third quarter. Art, your next question here on the second row. I'd like to say the guy is fantastic, but... LeBron gets 51 tonight, 49 regulation. Anything you can do, if you, you try everything with JaVale and, and, and Draymond, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we held back uh, a lot of strategy tonight. <laughs> <laughs> We've got so many things up our sleeves. Uh, we're going to shut them down next game. <laughs> Next question uh, in the middle. Raise your hand, please. Coach, for the you to request his sports. Um, we, we expected your team, I mean, we've seen uh, the Warriors come out strong in the top quarter. It didn't happen this time, but in over time, uh, they just turned it on. Uh, what was the difference? Um, what, what happened between that and the top? What was the difference between the third quarter and over time? Uh, between the fourth quarter and over time? The third quarter. Third quarter. Yeah, and over time. You know, usually, the team comes out strong in the third yeah. quarter, yeah. but this time, um, uh, it, 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 it's tied around. I, they didn't sustain him, but then in yeah. over time, just turned it on. Yeah, and we're, we're playing a great team. It's the finals. Um, you know, it's not going to be easy. I know uh, everybody has been saying and writing that it's going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. Um, they, we're playing a great team. They've been in the finals four years in a row, just like we have for a reason. Uh, you know, they have a guy who's playing basketball at, at a level that I'm not sure anybody's ever seen before. Uh, when you consider everything he's doing. And he's got a really good group of teammates around him, and they they, uh, they put a lot of pressure on you. They're really hard to guard. So it's going to be a tough series. Next question, Robert, run the up on the aisle here on two. Robert Latow, yeah, so uh, you talked in the pregame about how game one lets a lot of keyed up, a lot of jitters. Did you feel that, that you came out uh, came out a little bit slow in the first half? And overall, how did you feel about the defensive effort for the team? Well, I think game one is <clears throat> a little bit of a feel-out game. You know, you, you come off a, uh, an opponent you've been uh, preparing for for two weeks, and, and all of a sudden, you know, the, the series ends, and you got to start over again, uh, both teams. Obviously, we're relatively familiar with each other given our meetings over the last few years, but um, you know they're a little different now this year uh, after the trade in midseason, and they've got some different different characters, different uh, uh, weapons, and uh, so I didn't think our defense was very good in the first half, but uh, I think it'll get better. Next question in the middle. 
I, I Chuck McGee, uh, Santa Rosa Press Democrat. If we could stop time for a moment at the end of the fourth quarter and ask you how you felt the team played. Everyone's delighted after the overtime, but at the end of four quarters, how did you feel the Warriors played? Uh, I thought we were uh, pretty good. I didn't think we were great. I didn't think we were bad. I think we can play better, uh, but it's not like we came out there and stunk it up. You know, we, we played hard and, and uh, got after it. We had a really good third quarter. Um, so, you know, we'll look at the tape and figure out what we're going to try to do next. But one step at a time, we got the win. We're, uh, we're thrilled with that, and we'll see what happens next. Next question on the right side. Anthony Sutter with the athletic. What was your perspective on what kind of went down in the final minute, the Tristan Thompson foul, the scuffle, Steph and LeBron, all that stuff? Uh, I, I'm really not sure. I, I, um, I haven't talked to Steph um, or KD about it. I, I, I have no idea what that was about. Is there a final question for Coach? Next one in the back to the middle. Coach Aaron Goldhammer, ESPN Cleveland. Um, how, uh, had you ever seen one of those block charge calls overturned in the last two minutes, and how aware of that rule uh, were you? I've seen it, not often, but I've seen it a couple times. Um, so I, I, I don't remember exactly when they added